What? <laughs> what amp is that? That is a Bogner. Wow. <laughs> Dude, come on. We said number two, which is based off the wizard. It sounds just like the wizard. And then I guess it's supposed to, right? right? Hey, this is Howard Benson. I'm over here at West Valley Studios, and I'm here to chat with you about my new guitar suite plugin from STL Tones. Well, Mike and I were thinking about releasing a guitar plug-in because we, at one point, looked at all the hard drives and thought about all the guitar tones that we had done over the years. Sometimes I want to go, man, I wish I had, you know, a plug-in from this project or this project. And inside this plug-in are those, those sounds. And because it took us so long to get to those sounds, when I pull up the preset of that, it's not just some preset. It was days and hours of work that we put into getting that sound when we were at that time doing it. So you almost have to look at it like um, you're getting something that is a, a ton of work between Mike and I just to get that guitar tone. So, and there it is. So it wasn't just like some thing we threw up. You know, we had to go through tons of amps and different, the artist not being happy and then the artist being happy and then us changing it and everything. And then we settled on, this is the sound. <laughs> Thing about guitar sounds that's so hard is that they're like imagine uh a sine wave and then you add a trillion sine waves to it it's a pretty complex waveform i know what waveforms look like and i've sort of like studied all that in college to reproduce a guitar waveform is really difficult it's it's full of all kinds of harmonics and that's just one string then you have multiple strings so to do that is like really hard. I think the way this plugin sounds, it sounds to me like, uh, I'm not sure how y'all did it, but all the harmonics are there and they sound like odd harmonics to me because I don't like the even harmonics. The odd harmonics are what's in the chords, you know, like if you have a one, three, five, you know, seven, nine chord, it's all odd numbers. So that's what you want in your, you want your plugin to have that stuff when you hit a guitar. You don't want it to be even harmonics. I just wanted to make it sound like a real amp. I always thought that guitar plugins in the past, you know, I know it works for other people, but for me what I found is it didn't move air and they were I, I didn't necessarily like the the harmonics. I always thought they were a little harsh. So I wanted to make sure the plugin sounded as close to a real amp as possible and that it moved air. It had a tightness to it. And, and it felt like a real amp. When you, hit a, when you hit a guitar chord, you could feel that air move. And I never felt that with plugins. And I thought it was very important with this plugin to get that, get that feel. And the delay and reverb in the plugin are really well done. So you get, I find that the delay in this one sounds better than all the delays I'm buying as a delay plugin that sounds, that sounds good, as well as the reverb. Uh, a lot of the reverbs I find with plugins get lost in the mix once you put it on. They might sound really nice and clean and warm when you're putting it on one instrument, but when you put it in a track, especially a rock track with a lot of guitars and big drums, the reverbs tend to get lost in the track. They're hard to hear. But the reverb 
in this plug-in sounds really good. You put it on and it has a real nice shimmer to it. It was modeled after the uh, Lexicon 480L and you really hear the shimmer in the top end and it doesn't get lost in the track. It's really it's responsive. Amazing. And it holds its tone when you turn the knob down. Yeah. You turn your volume down. It, it stays really responsive, yeah. like a lot of plugins don't do that. See, when you clean it up... Yeah, it, the distortion stays nice when you pull the gain it's back. It's still smooth. And the, uh, the EQs really... Yeah, the EQs work nicely. So when I'm cranking... The voicing the, is the, great. The mids, I could hear it. Some guitar tones are they're yeah scooped or really thin or bright, but ours has you know. And if you listen, the the low end is great on this. It's really great. It's yeah, not, like sometimes it gets a little flubby down there. Yeah, but this doesn't. This does not at all. Yeah, it does. It's super tight, the low end on it, which... Well, yeah, that's the su surprising part. Yeah, because it's a lot super of... super tight. It's super tight, because even the amps sometimes don't aren't that tight, even on the low end. Yeah. They're a little bit more woofy because you're recording the air, but if you want something super tight... That's amazing. And you can just go through the... The, the low end, end is beautiful, right? dude! There's no compression on it, right? No, nothing. No, but I mean in the... It's cool because it's so responsive at any volume on the guitar. It's amazing. setup looks like here it's almost like I wish I could transport my setup to my home studio and that's what this plugin does 
so it even looks like my studio. So I can actually point at the amps I want to use, and uh, there it is. <laughs> 